Money is a need until it is not a truth that many have forgot. Security, it seems to bring shelter, food, and everything. But man made money more than this, a god to chase a fleeting bliss. It promises peace, a life so grand, yet binds us tight with golden bonds. Jobs we hate, lives we despise, chasing status that hypnotize. Money, a tool, not the aim, a fleeting spark, not the flame. Passion, talent, let them lead, and you will find that you already have all you need. True freedom shines when needs are met, as those callings become your biggest get. The sooner you can follow what it craves your soul, the quicker money's grip will lose its hold. Money is a need until it's no longer a need. The sooner you can realize this, the sooner you don't need money. To most it is both an illusion and a crutch. It provides security. And in exchange for that security, many trade their freedom, dignity, creativity, integrity, and above all, their life. All because of security. And it is actually delusional security if you think about it. Because where are you now, right now? Are you watching this under a bridge in the cold wind? You have security right now. But if your mind starts saying, well, yeah, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next month or next year, then look at that voice for what it is and ask yourself, how often has it been right? The truth is that most people end up in jobs or businesses that they don't like because they want security. Money in itself is neither good or bad. It is the attitude of the individual towards money that makes it good or bad. If the individual sees money as a way to make their life easier, then money will be seen as a good thing. However, if this same person sees money as the ultimate thing to reach in life, then it can become a source of harm, of detriment. Money is simply an amplifier. If you are happy or miserable without money, and you now get money, start to get money, this feeling will only get worse or better. Money has the power to amplify the feeling of worthlessness to the individual who doesn't have it and already feels this way and more so feels this way because this person lacks money. A big truth about money is that most people have an issue with money. They never have enough of it. Money is like a fire, a small fire here in the woods. It can keep you warm, but anything extra is a waste. Any bigger fire is a waste. And in fact, it could burn down the whole forest if you're not careful. And one other truth about money is that there is a lot of myths about money. A lot of false beliefs deeply rooted in most people, as well as in me. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people, only to find out that all of those things don't really matter. I was obsessed with money. I had a lot of false beliefs about money. So what is the truth? Well, money is just a tool. A tool that can bring convenience in your life. It's a means of exchange. The purpose of it was, has always been and is, to make it easier for transactions to happen. This is why it was created in the first place, to trade. So when people started to find out that you can accumulate money, which can in terms provide security for shelter, food, to stay alive basically. And of course, when humans started to understand that they can increase their sense of security, potential survival by accumulating money, they start to accumulate more. But, there's a big but, but, over time, like how God was created by man, how man created God, man created money, how we see it today. Not more so how it was created, simply in a, a tool to trade what you wanted with what you had. No, it became much more than that, isn't it? Instead of money being a means to an end, money became the end itself the Holy Grail. So in a sense then, money became the new God and people started to worship it. Just look around you. Just when I look at myself, my younger days, I was obsessed with money without ever questioning it, without ever questioning that all those beliefs that I should have so much money. May you see through your beliefs. There are a lot of them, probably. I don't know you, but that's the truth for most people. So the problem is that most people make money into something that it is not. They see money, making money is my God. 
I should work to make more money because money will solve all my problems. You almost hear this everywhere. I hear this everywhere, at least, that money will solve problems. Is this true, my friend? Think about it, because if it did, then why are there so many problems, even in rich people's lives, if money solved it all? Think about it. And if you don't, and you are ignorant like me before, whoa, actually would never click on such a video because I was fearful about the truth of money. I was just ignorant and wanted to make sure that I had enough of it before I would hear the truth. That is, that has been true for me. Obviously, to avoid the truth will only lead to pain and I would say waste of time. Because if you only realize the truth about money after having spent it however many years, 10, 5, 20, 30, 50 years of your life on accumulating it, only then re realizing what it is really about, then maybe you would have a feeling of regret. I leave it up to you. I'm not here to convince you, but you may think about it. The serious person does at least. I wasn't serious for a long time. And the truth about money is that money is a neutral instrument. It's not a bad one, not a good one. Money is not the root of all evil, and it's also not the root of all good. It's paper, it's an object. You can make it into an object of hatred. You can make it into an object of worship. And money, in the way how it is viewed in society, is a very interesting phenomenon. Like many beliefs in the world. I mean, most people, and probably you as well, you think, when I have more money, I will be happy, or more happy than I'm right now, right? And when you don't have money, or not enough, you're worried, right? That is normal to feel, right? I'm not saying that it isn't. I'm just stating that this is the idea about money to most people. And what I'm also saying is that it doesn't have to be this way. Even if you're broke, even if you don't have money, even if you're in debt, whatever it may be, as long as you view money as the most important thing in life, you will feel the pain of not having enough of it. Money is also a symbol of social status. This is true. I'm not saying it isn't. If you don't have money, you're being looked down upon. And if you have a lot of money or show it in a different way with all your cars, watches, whatever it is, and I don't look down upon that. I'm just stating the truth here. If you have those things you're being looked at, depending on the person, with envy or desire, jealousy, or questions of how you can get the same. Money is a status symbol in modern society. So my question to you, do you fear being looked down upon? Or do you fear more the possibility that you can never find out what you really want in life? Fear is powerful, my friend. May you decide what to fear wisely. The truth is that money is a means, not an aim can be yours, it can be your aim, but it hasn't been that way. You can decide that, but it's not the truth. It's what eh, almost everyone in society aims for. And don't believe if, that you're better than others or worse than others. If you have a job or if you have a business, because that's how I felt. I felt superior to others because I had my business and made money in a, in a way, uh, well, for my own. It's a topic for another video, this feeling of superiority. So back to money. Money is a tool, not a destination. And before I speak my next sentence, I want to make clear that I'm not here to share my opinion and even have an opinion about people who make a lot of money because this is what I wanted myself for a very, very long time. And I can still decide to do so. This is not what this is about. It's about really understanding the reality of this whole money concept. So then only after that, you can make the wise decision. I can make the wise decision what to pursue, whether that's money, making a lot of it, or something else. So with that being said, the obsession with building wealth is to most a mental illness. Because this desire for money stems from a belief. And most often the beliefs of I lack something. I feel that I, myself, that there's something missing in my life. And by having money, or more money than I have right now, I will be okay. I will complete this hole. I will fill this empty void. Another thing is that money to most people has become a broker, a person in between, a dropshipper, so to say. 
which doesn't lead them directly to what they want. There's something in the middle. It's not the actual thing. I hope you see what I tried to say here. So maybe to give you an example, maybe you think right now that money will give you happiness, peace, love, help you find what you are looking for, or is the actual thing you're looking for, that it will make you feel secure, respected, whatever it is. Money only provides the illusions of these things. More so, money is likely to prevent all of these possibilities from happening at all. Money is not the problem. Your relationship with money is the problem. Money in and of itself is neutral. It's not good, it's not bad, it's not positive, it's not negative, it's not healthy, it's not unhealthy, it just is. The problem is your relationship with it. Most people do not see this. Even poor people don't see this. Even very rich people don't see this. There's always this belief that only if I had more money, then I would be happy, or I'd finally feel how I want to feel, I'd finally get what I want to get. Only if I had more, or even to the very wealthy, only if I had less money, if I didn't have money at all, then I would feel this way or that way. The entire concept of money, like time, is a human creation. It's fabricated by us. It's not real. It's really difficult to understand what I mean here, and it's really difficult to explain what I mean. I will try my best. At the same time, I know that the serious person will understand what I mean. And quite frankly, that is the person I'm, I'm talking to. Money is a placeholder. It's a concept. It's a fable, a myth. It can only do three things. It can be earned, it can be stored, and it can be exchanged. That's it. It's just a practical solution, like language. Money is a storage of value, not your value, not your worth. It's not even your money, because think about it. If you are still watching this, I assume you are a highly driven person. So, if that's true, who created this insane driven feeling inside of you that is always there, that has always been there for however long you know? Who lighted this burning flame? I'm not here to tell you who did this because that will be a lie. I do not know. I have no idea who created this burning desire inside of me. I simply have no clue. And by now, I do not have a clue to who my money belongs. I get it. You earned money, and now you see it as your money. You protect it, you invest it, whatever it is. But you see it as your money. I saw it as my money. But if you think about it, who made you into this person that could earn this money, that did the things needed to accumulate all this money? Where did that come from? Is it really you? Because if it is not, then does the money not belong to this thing that created you? I'm not going into a very vague field, although it sounds that way. Simply trying to explain the detachment from money, but that may be a topic for another video. So simply, if I don't exist, if this self-image I've created of myself, any image about myself doesn't exist. The successful CEO, the founder, the athlete, the, 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 the whatever it is. If this person doesn't exist, then it is not my money. The self is fabricated and so is my money. The self is an illusion that causes suffering and so will my money cause us pain if I see it this way, if I see it as mine. This being said, money can provide freedom. Freedom from having to survive. And when you're not worried about survival, you can pursue the things you like more than surviving. But please understand what I'm about to say. Pursuing the accumulation of money beyond the need to survive is a distraction from finding the thing you really want to pursue, which few will ever do. Few will ever find that thing. Money is your pursuit until your passion is the pursuit. Money is your necessity until your talent is your necessity. The sooner you can immerse yourself into your talent, the sooner the significance of money will fade away. Talent is hidden until it can no longer hide. And your relationship with money is a reflection of your relationship with your mind. If you want to learn more about the mind, you may watch this video next. And if you try to find the truth in a specific situation in your own life, but can't really seem to find it, then feel free to email me or send me a DM. I don't ask you for money, but I only respond to serious questions.
And here's my poem about the essence of this video. Talk soon.